Hello ladies and gentlemen, Magnadox here for another episode of Dark Souls. And by the end of this episode, we will have Seath the Scaleless dead. On my honor. Because I am not going to make five videos of me fighting Seath the Scaleless, even though I'm sure that I'll have plenty of content. That I'll have enough content to do so. Because I'm sure this fight's gonna be close. close. I need to not lock on to If I lock on to I can't do it. Okay, hit me with his tentacles. We're off to a great start here. I can already feel I am just pumped up for this fight. I look how giant Seat is compared to me. Look how absolutely terrifying he looks. It's just, it's just one of the reasons I love Dark Souls, and I love uh, another game that's called... Uh, shoot, I'm so, so bad at remembering names. Okay, hit and run. Gotta make sure I see it. Does he trap me in and then do another attack? Yes, he does. But the first one, okay, the, se the first one disappears by the time he tries to do the second one. Watch yeah, Okay, I think I'm, I'm thinking we get this fight down. Slowly, but surely. And if you're right up on him, run! We'll do that. Okay, so I need to not get greedy. I can't get greedy. If I get greedy, I'm going to get killed. I need to do one or two hits, then get out of there. One or two hits, get out of there. One or two hits, get out of there. Greedy. Okay, that fire attack takes way too long. It takes too long. It wouldn't be wouldn't be useful. These weird butterfly things too. So this so Seath betrayed the dragons, and in the opening sequence, it showed Seath on top of a pile of dragon bodies. So explain to me how a scaleless dragon able to kill so many dragons with scales. Because were their scales supposed to be as hard as stone? And super like tough and hard to pierce through. So if he didn't have those hard scales Magic. They had more magic, maybe, because you can like make crystals appear. I mean, I have fought dragons in this game, and they weren't too terribly tough, the little ones at least. Maybe just kill a bunch of little ones. Yeah, the okay. Well, the short crystals do hurt. Okay, for some, I whenever I walk in before they don't get damaged, but they do hurt. Just not just only. A little I don't know any. And the music is really good too. It just that not necessarily adventurous, but how to play. It's like a... Uh, 
But the music is. Oh, how do I describe it? I mean, y'all can hear it, obviously, but I mean. I just don't know what I would say it. It's like adventurous, but also kind of. You know, like impossible foe kind of thing. Like, it's, it's, got, it's got a real, you know. There's a huge task ahead of you that you probably can't accomplish kind of vibe going on. A lot of Legend of Zelda music I get too, which I like. I like that kind of music. Especially when. Him to fall off a cliff because his wings can't work. According to game logic, okay, I should have It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Even though it's not really old, he can use it every five seconds. Oh, when he moves, he knocks the crystals into the air. I think, or the crystal, because you see the crystal disappearing on the mission. Whichever one's pretty cool. Okay, let's get him to attack him. Okay, that I did not expect that to go that far. Tentacles. Go for me. I'll try to get my souls. <laughs> well, I can. Oh, I didn't get my souls the time before last. So now I don't have it. Oh, I, I, did, I didn't capitalize on that guy falling off the cliff. Just giving me three souls. Find him. Yep. So, up his tentacles. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I know y'all are. Rooting for me, I'm sure. Short range. Bring him over here a bit. Going to attack. Got you close to saw. Oh, no, there's crystals blocking me! There's crystals blocking me! Okay, I just punched because I was trying to shoot. Okay. Okay, we survived that somehow, somehow. I've got about a third of his health. I don't want to lose this. So wherever he starts... Crystals first start to move. We attack twice and then try to run away. Oh, he's going again? Dang it, he normally uses powerful attack. Just about a third of his health is gone. So, it took so long to get there. Made no mis you gotta, can't make a mistake. Or, I mean, Obviously, you can make a mistake. I ran to the crystal. I still live. You just can't make a... You just can't make a really stupid mistake. You can make a stupid mistake, but you just can't get really stupid with it. Now you have firebomb, which you have equipped for in case of emergency situations. Close. 
Okay, so I unequipped my hard leather armor and put on some black leather armor, so I have a little bit more mobility. Of course. Switching out this armor also gives me less resistance to damage. What did I just say? Why? Why is that hitting me now? That never hit me before. Okay, we actually made it to the fight this time in the black leather armor. So let's see if this gives us any advantage. No, 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 no. Oh, he's so close. He's this close to dying. Look at that. He had no more than a fourth of his health left over. I just got greedy. I thought he was going to use his charging up attack, but he didn't. <laughs> just him holding up his uh spear in the blocking position just reminds me of the Mulan be a man scene. You know, <laughs> if only he'd like put it back on his shoulders. <laughs> I'm walking to the wall. It's gonna be my downfall. Yeah. They're walking right into his spikes. Oh, it can curse you after you're dead? Good thing I didn't heal myself. I would just be. There's no way. If you use that purging stone, you just have to keep using it constantly before the fight every single time, or else you get cursed. <laughs> or not, or else you get cursed. Or else, you know, there really isn't any drawbacks of not doing that. I am so close. I've been trying. I've been not talking because I've been concentrating so hard. But, so close. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, he's down. Oh, Morgan, we're going to have to Oh. Finish. Oh, my gosh. That took me an hour ever. The, like, not me starting up the recording and everything, but from me hitting play on Dark Souls to me now, it's been one hour. Oh. Oh my gosh, I feel so accomplished. Because I played a video game and I beat a boss. That boss fight really sh probably shouldn't have been that bad. I mean, it's like any fight. Once you figure it out, you just kind of run the same thing. But the one thing about that fight was just it punished you if you made a single mistake. Whether it was you didn't get far away enough or whether it was you stuck too close and he used his close range attack rather than his mid attack. Or you rushed in too quickly before you knew what attack he was going to use, and he didn't use the one you think you were gonna, he was going to use. Or if you try to roll to the wrong side of him, and he hit you in his beam and just punished you for making any mistake. And that's what took me so long and so many tries. Oh, but it's over. It's over. I defeated Seath the Scaleless. Oh, man. I got my Lord Soul. Oh, now there's a bonfire in the middle of here. Rests. Seath responds. Seath respawns after resting the bonfire. But now I can show y'all, uh... I can actually do it from here, because I, I didn't show y'all, uh... What happens when you talk to the giant lizard man. When you have the... Bonfire piece that you need after you kill Ornstein and Smo. So, and I'll use that purging stone in a second, but now that I have defeated Seath the Scaleless, uh, No, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. 
night. Well, and wide awake. Do not treat me like an old withering snake. <laughs> Those weird mustache tentacle thing. I am pleased to see you well. Is it something urgent? Feed item. Oh, can I feed him something? What is blue? What happens if I do this? Oh, it just reduces it. Did I just waste something really valuable out of pure curiosity? Very well. Then stay still for a moment. I don't know what I just did, but just check this out. That's what I did. What I wasted doesn't matter. So in order to get you to the next area, this dude eats you and then goes to God knows where. And his head comes down from the ceiling. So who knows where his body is? Or where, whatever he's coiled around. Ooh, his jaw. Yeah, and he's, he's, he's there. Just hanging out. But yeah, so down here is this bonfire. And now I can offer up... The soul of Seath. Did that do anything? I think so. And now let's level up. Level twice. Let's do... Dexterity and endurance so that my endurance, strength, and dexterity are all equal. I forget what dexterity even does for me. Let's see. Parameters, stamina, quickly resistance... Bleeding, powerful weapons, boost weapon attack, advance, also boost weapon attack. So yeah, just all attack. That's all I want. I just want this character to be able to attack as many times as possible. Do as much damage as possible. He is a DPS. And I think I just gave him... Yeah, okay, so I offered him Seath's soul. And once I get Seath's soul, uh, the witch's soul... The pygmy, the uh, furtive pygmy soul, and then four other just kind of like random boss souls. Then I get to enter this door to the depths. And that is where. Yeah, lock my sense of direction. And that is where I think. I'm assuming that after I get into the depths, either Lord Gwyn is in the depths or he's somewhere past it. So that then I can fight Lord Gwyn and beat the game. I don't, I don't have to take Snake Central to get back to the top, I can just warp from this, which is a lot more, uh, a lot safer, I think, and it saves on dry cleaning, so. Well, we've made it to the end of this adventure where I finally beat Seat the Scaleless. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the like button if you liked that video, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys next time.